Hey, everybody, every soul. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in Israel once again. Uh, great times, very powerful times. Again, the most powerful on an individual basis as well as a collective basis. Uh, as us all being co creators, everyone is uh, more enhanced today than. Uh, yesterday. Uh, so what's occurring is we're preparing for an upcoming uh, in let's say three to several days we will go into a more of a, uh, a rest period from the strenuous uh, activities in each one's reality like within relationships what's occurring uh, on the outward timelines, what we will be going into, and this is for those that are prepared for this to the harmonious level to enter the state, is a rest period of for about a couple weeks. So it's a rest period from negativity, if you will, and uh, you know some of the last uh, little ongoing tests that needs to be taken care of uh, before the 26th of January, which they will, the 26th of January on linear time. So uh, during this period, uh, it's been put out uh, some forward information, you know, to once again embrace uh, the inner child aspects, uh, all of the aspects, of course, of an inner child uh, with the sincerity, the genuity, uh, uh, you know, the love, the innocence, and uh, the fun and the joy and the bliss. And it's important to, uh, again, know that you will be utilizing this in creating uh, more heightened magic in this upcoming rest period uh, that will begin in about three days or so. Uh, so at that level as well, uh, it's very important to know for also uh, in conjunction with this timing uh, that the relationships and especially uh, the divine union relationships will uh, play a prominent role in this period of a few weeks and uh, one of the purposes for it is that the uh, divine unions coming uh, more together in a more harmonious state will also energize uh, the timelines in the reality with the harmony the love and the peace so again with the divine couples it's very important that uh, all were prepared for sufficient uh, degrees uh, to create this energy of the love, the peace, and the harmony during this period. So the focus will tend to go uh, with you that are in the divine relationships uh, to enhance and increase that energetic imprint into the timelines. So heaven suggests that it, it's very important uh, for any of you um, ones in divine unions that are separated to come together at this time and for some of you it will uh, it's best to follow what is opened what is presented for you towards uh, your divine partner uh, even if you're physically separated or in an area where you're both together and separated by what may appear as a era, era uh, what may appear as a uh, a problem that has not been resolved yet. So, uh, very quickly get the resolution to that. We are all problem solvers. Uh, we find the answers. So, it's important to reconcile uh, any differences at this time and take them to the higher. Uh, states so that you come more into the harmony uh, for this very important co-creational period that is upcoming again in several days. Uh, so it's to 
for many good reasons. It's also to energize and to uplift reality in preparation for everything that is occurring, but also to enhance it more and to give the good things that will be that are occurring with the masses a springboard as well to connect very quickly into what uh, uh, the ones of you, let's say, in divine unions that are creating a very powerful, energized space for it to attach into and to set the atmosphere for, uh, you know, what comes thereafter. So uh, the co-creators in the divine unions will be uh, energizing the atmosphere to that extent which raises the timeline up into it uh, so very joyous times that we are in and in very powerful times upon the surface there are 12 uh, very important uh, co divine unions of, of a feminine and a masculine and uh, at these times these original uh, pairs split off from source have very important roles there as part of the divine plan at this very time. Uh, so for those of you that this resonates with, uh, this can be a confirmation of what you have received as, as your guidance, uh, that this is uh, the stage that we are going in. Now, let me also say that there's 838, what you could call uh, twin flame co-creator pairs as well that will be adding uh, to this at this time. And uh, again, it's very important to be in states of love in your relationships with this. So this is again a... Uh, a um, well, I have the word, it's a conjoint, or uh, that's not the best word, but it's a jointed effort at this time as well, where each one is uh, contributing uh, to the energy uh, of the overall by what you create and what you transition. Uh, for example, two of you in love in a certain place, you just charge it all to the love, so you transition any negativity or density in it and, and you power it up to the positive and love. So this is occurring and, and uh, beginning and it will be or so in the next few days. Um, so pretty much I have said all that uh, for every, every one of us. Um, in general, these are the very high uh, creational mode that we are in again at your manifestation abilities, at your uh, co-creator abilities. <clears throat> they are very high and uh, also with this, be very meticulous once again uh, in your wording and in your thoughts. Uh, and what we wish to do is to uh, keep everyone at the highest positive thoughts as well. <coughs> Woo, excuse me. So uh, that is important. And uh, also it, it, it adds to the timelines and to the overall energies in, in very good ways, of course. So uh, that is uh, one thing. Um, at this time, uh, for all of you, and, and many of you are being so strictly, divinely guided, you're, you're guided in the way that if there's roadblocks coming up in uh, your, let's say your life or your experience is a better thing at this time. So if there's roadblocks coming up here at this time, it, it simply means go to the path of least resistance go to the area where you're not restricted these roadblocks are, are guiding divine guidance mechanisms and at this time and it's because of the severity 
of this time, the severity meaning the importance of this time, of the timeline we are creating. So these blocks will come up, they're impenetrable, uh, and, and they'll be very dense because you're not supposed to go there. You're supposed to go this way. So these things divinely assure a, a direction. And if you keep pounding against them, what it does, it just uh, disempowers you and it takes your energy away that uh, you just surrender. And you say, okay, I need a break. I got to go where the door is open, if you will. So uh, it's divinely orchestrated and assured any of you that uh, may be going through that. So, you know, to assist and uh, let you know a little bit more of what is divinely occurring, uh, these uh, roadblocks or what have you are for divine reasons. So it, it's uh, to just go the other way. Don't question anything. Keep it simple for yourself and just follow the path of least resistance. It's the answer and it is the the way forward. Now also with this, what is occurring in the next two weeks, uh, it has the huge magnitude to uh, change your existences and your lives there to the utmost and uh, dependent on how much we charge these timelines uh, very quickly uh, your existing life could change very quickly overnight. And that's very important in good ways, of course, where, you know, we're all about uh, the good things that we wish. So it, it's great having full trust. Do not question anything or the part of uh, any part of the divine plan, even though you're not given all of the script what I can say is that there is a very important divine plan in place and for divine reasons uh, there are very it's very limited to what one is given uh, with the divine script so as we know uh, we are all on uh, a need to know basis and uh, it, it is divinely orchestrated to be that way for the most part uh, to assure that we facilitate the timelines where we must and how we must. Uh, sometimes by having too much forward knowledge, it affects what you do in the now. And this is one of the reasons that it's done this way. Uh, and again, however, uh, as we keep advancing higher, you get more of your memory and your knowledge back uh, with this and what has actually been transpiring. So again, you know, you've been living, let's say, a duality where uh, you're existing in, in the old paradigm. However, you are a major contributor and co-creator of the new. So you're jumping back and forth. Uh, uh, you know, to to uh, uh, transition out of the old, and that also is a detachment process. And to line you up for, of course, the new beautiful timelines. So, blah, 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 I got that all set. <laughs> yeah. I'll just look at a couple quick questions, but I don't wish to keep this uh, too long. Hey, Colleen, Rada, Troy, Satya, Sue, and Donald. I'll just try to keep it pretty simple. Everyone doesn't want to be watching videos and uh, lives all day and reading posts all day. You know, we are the creators. Everyone's pretty well informed now that a lot of you don't need to do that as much as perhaps in the past during the training periods and uh, you know the extensive trial and tribulation periods of uh, the last several years so that's great so I'll keep this pretty short Woo! this is it
I love you all and love and light and thank you and check the good news from Q and also from the protests and uh, Josera, good news out of Russia, uh, Iraq, many good places. Zimbabwe, lots of good I news. I so, uh, oh, good. Okay. Hold for a moment. Uh, Roz is there back. Hey. <laughs> hey, folks. And this is where I'm staying uh, for a few days. Beautiful oh, divine comrade. Yes, the yeah. message. I, I have to concur and agree with Rick. It's been very amazing having him here, and uh, it's been quite, quite special and amazing co-creating and co-collaborating. Uh, I must say, he's a very divine being and, and very kind, and no ego whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> very down to earth. But we need the good ego. Yes, yeah, yeah. but very down to earth, very, very good person to be around been really great um while we're on the subject um i'm rosalind beth horowitz also known as cosmic utopian rose you can find me on facebook and and visit my my page there and see more what i do and what i'm about but also the same thing we're all doing is what we're doing together and it's just funny i was just sitting there and i just got completely sparked when i realized that today is january the 20th 2020, 222. So, and with the way things have been happening, with the balance, the balance that's being created by us, by finding our balance within. Uh, and I overheard what, what Rick was um, imparting uh, of the information and assistance for us to be mindful of these things. So I, of course, I went to see, yes, of course, 222. The number is also suggesting at a point in your life where you're looking for some sense of balance. And I said, beautiful, ring the yes. bell, there's the confirmation. <laughs> 222, looking for a sense of balance. We need the balance. Mother Earth needs the balance. Keeping a calming in the waters so that we have that balance. And as long as that's happening, when you have balance, you can gain momentum. And we together, balancing with each other and our own energies can create that connection and expand that awareness, which will create a stronger momentum, uplifting ourselves and the planet. Yes. Uh, it's such a good thing. It, it and, is, and a good and a good time to be here now. It can't be any better than this. That's all I know. So, and this is also indicating uh, some place in point in your life for each person. That could mean something else, but it's all significant. When you're looking to make sense of some sense and balance. Maybe it's some one uh, aspect in your in your life and your experience for another, but for each, find that for yourself within yourself. Because when you do that, you're doing that for everyone. We're all doing that for all of us. Mm -hmm. And um, so, important message I'll add to Rick's message is: this means it's best time to have faith, keep trusting. And, you know, one in one makes two, and <laughs> we'll keep going on. So that means there's two major factors, maybe, in your life that just need to be a little more consistent. Whatever that is, you may find that or realize that. And that's just a small thing to focus on that helps move everything forward. It's a step-by-step -step thing. If we try to do it all at once, I think it'd be overwhelming even for the planet itself. And so it is our loving duty to just take care of that within ourselves, which will create that energetic field around us that will ripple out to everyone that we're connected to and everyone that they're connected to. And in that way, we will do that in a 
harmonious, calm, and balanced, uh, a balanced way. So I'm really happy to be here with Rick Jewers and uh, to, um, I just felt so inspired. I said, okay, yeah, I'm just going to go join him. Perfect. <laughs> and, and, and yeah, it can't be any better than that. That is called being your genuine, authentic self. And if you feel called to express that in whatever way that is, then please do it. Don't hold that back. Because, um, yeah, share that love. <laughs> all right, I love you all too. Thank you, uh, Roz, Beth. This is, uh, yeah, so beautiful. So uh, Roz, again, she's a divine comrade and her contributions uh, to the ascension is invaluable as well. Uh, many gifts, uh, healing uh, abilities, uh, divine etheric uh, connections, channeling, uh, the interaction with uh, some of the galactics, uh, the elementals, and also the angelic spiritual realms. Uh, there's an actual a very heightened activated portal uh, that uh, that uh, Beth or Roz has um, enhanced here for this very period, uh, for this very time, and it's a, a very important uh, portal and, and very amazing. And I've seen uh, some angelic beings and uh, uh, and also have communicated with elementals and. Uh, yeah, different aspects. So it's beautiful here and uh, very heightened. And all of this magic is very real. And, uh, you know, it was comical. And one of the first nights I came here, I was going to take a picture of the moon. And uh, I took a picture up in the sky of the moon. But Father had changed my camera. <laughs> that when I looked at the picture, it was actually down below the side of it with a golden uh, doorway onto it uh, showing you know part of the portal here and uh, <laughs> no mistake and it was all lit up in golden light a rectangular uh, door light uh, doorway and also absolutely, absolutely a portal it was yeah amazing. yeah <laughs> she and it was in a shape also that uh, a divine uh, authoritative feminine was standing there holding up it looked like some sort of a scepter yeah, or scepter whatever or yeah yeah <laughs> so uh, very beautiful and very powerful and uh, just yesterday uh, I was sitting out here I asked for a rainbow <laughs> and, and not only got one we got two and we had two yeah yeah six yeah. minutes later I was instructed by father look out the window and Boom, there was one rainbow, and about two hours later, uh, another occurred. And, and the most beautiful thing about it was also in the rainbow were the aquamarine. Yeah. It had aquamarine and violet. It was a special rainbow, because Rick was saying, those really looked like pastel colors. Mm -hmm. And they were. So, uh, yeah. And I will be sharing very soon... Um, a transmission activation because I also bring in channeling images uh, from the divine and so those are for here for all of us and I'll be sharing that and you'll see some more pictures from 110 2020 from the lunar eclipse uh, because very special messages have come through and so those images and things will be coming up soon and I'll post them on the cosmic utopian rose page and uh, the activation will be available for embodying and for soul, um, soul, soul, soul recognition, connecting to your authentic soul, and bringing in those divine qualities and properties into your being, so that you can rise even more within yourself. And uh, that that does that for all of us. So. Yes, we're happy to be here today. We've had lots of rain, and uh, it's also cleansing and bringing in new energies, and it's also entering that divine light into the waters. So we're all happy about that. 
And, uh, yes. So we're sending out a lot of love to everyone. And just keep doing what you're doing. And don't lose faith. We're here for a reason. We all are together. We all are. And we've done it. Very amazing things. And we're doing yet more amazing things. And having said that, we will see this uh, in the next few weeks. Uh, all of you with your beautiful, joyous creation. Please share with us and, and share with everyone so, you know, we get it all out there. Uh, the more eradication of little doubts from other, others, the better. You know, we just keep showing it to them. And sooner or later, the masses will not deny nor refute uh, what uh, the beautiful divine beings we are and what we are contributing in the least to these timelines yes and even for the divine couples out there and all people connecting to loved ones even if it's not a divine couple uh connection if it's just even any heart connections we have patience and allowance for space and and development and balance because we each have that and sometimes we can only find that in a few moments that we'll need to ourself for that recalibration and balancing. And then everything will come back into alignment. And we can't hope all the time that, that someone will balance out and recalibrate with us at the same time. But surely and divinely, uh, when we, with full love and heart, allow that to happen for the others, they will... Um, it will it will synchronize the synchronicity will naturally flow back in and things will lift even higher after that because we each have different uh, stages we're going through and in each time we successfully meet another realization and point within ourselves it lifts us higher so we come closer and closer to each other and to our soul purpose so Indeed. And may I add to this that, you know, we wish to console and support to sufficient degrees. However, it's, it's also very important not to stay down there with one you're assisting. You need to come up at times so that you can raise them up. If you stay down there, they may at times just have prolonged periods going in circles and you all you would be doing is just creating a comfort zone an area of energy for them to stay there in so sometimes in some cases it is important you know to come up and and give uh the higher truths and also to remind ones that it's a very important divine reason that we are here and they are part of it. And there is an overall uh, divine plan that each one is part of. And all of this is for very important reasons. It's why we went through all of this to be prepared for the time. So we don't wish to get caught in stagnation areas, you know, we can comfort and support for short periods of time, but just don't make a habit out of that because it can create a sort of prolonged period of that and, you know, perhaps even stagnation. And we're all about going forward. In essence, to, in, and adding to that, and, and that, that is true because all of our actions, our thoughts, and our participations in many things is what can generate and manifest more of that or create more of something else. So in, in that respect, and that is going to happen, it's a reciprocal kind of thing because say you have a divine partner or you're having a situation in a close proximity to your heart that's a relative or anything else, friend, anything. But by us maintaining our frequency, our heart, um, 
staying connected and in our heart and keeping that positive energy flowing that will uplift the other even if it seems that the other is really in that in that moment so so much and they will more it will enable them to more quickly come out of that and rise out of that rather than trying to just console and 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 mm, verify the, the 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 whole situation it's like uh you know i fell and hit my knee and somebody's going to cry with me instead of saying oh i see you fell and hit your knee but it's looking like it's going to be okay exactly it's going to be fine instead of saying oh my goodness oh my goodness you know it's like oh i see it's really going to be okay come on you know it's going to be all right and allowing them to have that expression and but at the same time enforcing it with a positive a positive energy and intention so that helps to turn that and send it manifesting toward a positive outcome we have that power yeah we do indeed uh, i see linda put a, a comical comment on there rick every time you light a cigarette she means she smells it <laughs> and, and yeah that does occur now okay what you should be smelling it, it's a very good uh top blend cherry blend i believe isn't yeah it? <laughs> i i listen crew i know you guys all love rick and he's a very important dynamic in this in this uh in this beautiful ascending moment that's happening for us and the planet so we're trying to keep him around <laughs> <laughs> so I I monkey wrenched his tobacco with something that is cleaner and greener. <laughs> yeah. And, and that doesn't mean that green. I mean, as far as a uh, uh, pure, uh, no chemicals, uh, it just a little bit of a change up, so that's much lighter and and healthier than the 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 uh, commercialized cigarettes that are out there. So we went for something a little different, and we're taking it as we do with ourselves, all of us, a step at a time. Nobody says you have to you know, throw yourself into the river, but at least, you know, feel the temperatures and start to enjoy the waters and pretty soon you'll be swimming upstream. <laughs> and I thank you, Beth, for these cigarettes. They are the best I've had in a, in a while and a lot better. Smell better too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, smell better, I agree. Yeah, it's some kind of a vanilla and a cherry, and a, but nice, mm -hmm. much yeah. nicer. And, and next step will be Quitting all together. Yeah, I tried a couple of times, not yet, but I'm getting closer. Yeah, we've <laughs> it asked comes it. in due time. And yeah, we just, you know, one of the things with the, the habits, uh, if you will, that uh, when it's time, you will quit when you are supposed to. So what I'm saying is, you know, just make your best effort and, and don't stress on it. And, you know, as uh, Beth said here as well, you, transition out of it too when you're ready those so. are those are well within our powers to do now at any time and i can also for myself say the same if any of you out there like myself rick is anchoring with coffee and cigarettes and i'm anchoring with food <laughs> so <laughs> i'm like i definitely have myself grounded you know nothing's going to blow me away at the moment so. <laughs> no but this opened up the door for a great opportunity, you know, that actually, actually um, smoking natural pure tobacco is beneficial to the older human bodies as well mm -hmm. uh, because it becomes a medicine. But also, it, it also uplifts the adamantine particles in the consciousness part of the brain. And, and many, you know, it, it does similar things as the marijuana as well, which suspends uh, these particles, which puts one in a pacified state, but also a clearer state, uh, you know, as part of their uh, preparing to be channels and, and what have you. However, again, we don't wish to condone smoking chemicals. So this is speaking to those who are still 
for still uh, partaking of that. But, you know, I come from a long line of, on my one side of my family, so from the, the uh, inhabitants of the Caribbean, uh, the original inhabitants. So I have a lot of uh, shaman and medicine uh, men and women in my lineage. So that, whether you have that or not, Basically, it, it comes down to what you have in your heart and the intentions that you have, because whether you're that or not, we all are one and we all are the same. And if we reach for these things and create them with the intention and the love, anyone can create something that is more positive and be like a medicine to you. So anything that's positively in force that is going toward and no judgment folks if it's going toward a transition even if it doesn't look like to someone else you did it because you're still smoking a cigarette or you're still having a you know a pie whatever it is you are in charge of that transition and yes that can happen and divinely so you will feel that empowerment within yourself and that will create that, again, that energy that ripples out for all others who are also doing the same or having the same experience. Like the hundred monkey effect, we're that. If each of one of us be, is responsible and acknowledges what we're doing, then that hundred monkey effect thing, that um, ripples ripples through the through collective. the continuum and the collective yeah. absolutely so yeah don't ever think it's insignificant anything that you do or experience or wish for or 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 put intention toward because you're doing that for all of us and each one of us that does that is what's creating this amazing connection that's wrapping around this entire planet as we are more and more of us connecting to ourselves as self. And that is what is creating this larger than ever and, mm. and, and uh, immemorial and momentous once in a eon happening like never before. Because we're in a place that has never been before. We've been through a lot to get here. But now we're here. You you brought up a very important point. I, I'd like to touch on here because uh, you've set the stage for that. And what it is 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 uh, you know Beth. I call Rose Beth. As as Beth has stated, you know we're we're at very high levels of co-creating here and manifesting and. You know, in your own experiences, how you act and react in the experience and towards others, it is also having a ripple effect out into the collective. So it's very important, again, at the individual level, that all of you stay harmonious as you are uh, to reflect that uh, with all and to contribute to a harmony. And what many of you can do to test this is again you you look at a day that maybe you were a little bit negative and responded in a negative way mm. and, and what you will see is that's reflected even in others out there if you go online you look at facebook you may see a similar theme by someone else this is showing you know that we are indeed all one and that we affect each other's reality even if we don't know them so it's very important to know your strengths with that and, and to know that we are the ones here to change everything by being the example ourselves then it's projected outward in the reality so any um any negativity and fear it, it's why it's so important that we overcome that and master it and let's walk again now towards releasing fear and releasing guilt and releasing old energies from old timelines from what we have been and what we came here to experience and all that has manifested from that 
in lieu of our planet and the condition that's in. And that all of that now in our enlightenment and in our self-realization is bringing the heaven, the heavenly realm and the heavenly status and state of being back as it never was before because we are doing that as one this time. The planet does not have to shake us off, yet she does need our assistance in rising that we can all do that together. So that's why each person is important to not take it lightly and not say, what can I do? You know, I'm just me, you know, and I have my own problems. But as we solve our own things and even perhaps even have helped one person other than ourselves, I think that each person that connects to even one creates a, it creates a divine connection that spans through each and every one of us. And that's pretty much simple and all that's needed. So yeah, that will help to uplift the planet, uplift ourselves, create a stronger, more dynamic and electrical auric field around us that will give us what may seem like magical powers because it is an experience of that, just that, the majesty of being. Now, if I may, one of these magical powers is reversing the aging process. And again, I know that many of you have experienced this, have seen it within others and seen it within yourself. So this reversing the aging process is very real. However, what I wish to say, if you're able to do that with your body, once you attain such a level uh, in the crystalline ascension light body process, what else are you able to do with the physical vessel? We know you can cure every disease known to man once you uh, have accessed that within you. So this means once you reach such a level, Yes, you can do all that. We're just not allowed to sustain it here yet. However, again, that time is coming, and it is the very truth of our abilities with these physical vessels. However, again, I, I must emphasize, there is a level to be very meticulous with your diets and uh, your diets and the uh, energies until you attain such a level that then when that begins to kick in, you know you have mastery over the vessel when it's divinely approved, meaning that then nothing does uh, affect you while we're here. And, and there was a reason, and it's a reason that you are shown, the ones of you that know you have that regenerative or uh, ability instantly, the reversing of the aging process. That also means you have reached such a level that you have full control over the physical vessel in the instant, the divine instant that it is allowed. So one of the reasons I'm saying this is you have no fear of death or any harm as well to the physical vessel with us. However, you must reach that certain levels. Now, some have already reached that level that may not have seen the actual reversing process. However, they have accessed it another way, and there are many ways to do this. One way is speaking to every cell in your physical vessel. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we can also look at some of the yogis, for example, uh, these practices and teachings have been here uh, throughout a large part of the recent history. So again, these are confirmations of just showing you uh, some of your abilities. Nothing is beyond us. And you can look at even the smallest uh, changes, and that will be your indication that, yes, 
And a big, um, not so secret secret to that is embodying the love and embodying happiness and joy. That seems to lift the vibration so high that those vibrations and frequencies of love and joy and, and basically being that, doing that, even towards someone else, lifts your frequencies and vibration, which actually changes the molecular structure and, and the activity of your own field happening within you. And you'll look in the mirror I can say this. I mean, it, 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 you have you have hugged someone. Uh, you have made love with your divine partner. You have experienced something that was just brought such fullness and a kindness into your heart that you looked in the mirror and you said, "You see the difference between yesterday when you looked like you were 10, 20 years older, yet you've had such a beautiful moment the next day that you look actually 20 years younger." That's an attestment right there. Don't take it lightly. It is an attestment to the exact thing that our thoughts and our actions can affect in the physical world on this human vessel. And that is truth. And, our, and this is our state of being. And in conjunction with the rest period that's upcoming that we, I spoke about earlier, this is what we wish for, you know, all of you to be doing stay in the higher vibration of love and harmony and you will begin to see more of this magic that you can share with others because it is a very real and it's very powerful and we have reached such a level that more can attain this and it's very important that we share this with the outside world as well Woo! <laughs> so yeah, if you have any experiences that give you that confirmation, please share them. Uh, you know, share them on a post, share them here, the comments, uh, share them on uh, Real Angels page. Um, uh, you can, you know, just put them out, and and others can connect by doing that. Even though it may seem like it's just something you said, but Believe me, someone else will see that and that will be a confirmation to them or a confirmation to others by their own experiences. And that right there is creating that, that um, environment for creation, for productivity and for progressing and moving forward. But every time we acknowledge something, we are preparing ourselves to be ready for something new. Mm -hmm. Indeed. So we'll call this a, a wrap, huh? Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. <laughs> okay. Peace We're and gone. love. Love and light. Love you all, and thank you, and thank you so much, Roz, for, for joining in on thank you. this. I always love these divine surprises, and you know, this went so perfect, and I, I felt so good, the two of us just speaking here, but also uh, what what I love is uh, seeing and witnessing and experience and Roz uh, speak to you as well. And that's so beautiful when I sit back and, and watch one, uh, you know, uh, utilize their divine ability as well. It, it's so impressive and, and it's so beautiful to see we have, you know, such divine comrades. And, and that indeed we're we're all working together and uh, to assist everyone. So I thank you so much, uh, Beth. I love you. Thank you. Love you too. And I love all of you. And we love all of you. And I love all of you too. Have Very a much. great day. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Now uh, we'll see if we can uh, get off of here because sometimes the energy keeps. Yeah, we all going. know Rick's not good at shutting this thing down. <laughs> Sometimes we get a lot of energy and yeah, we go. There we <laughs> okay, there All we right. go. <laughs> Love and light. All right.